Good afternoon, children. This is the Desai family. Father, mother, Rohit and Rhea. Rohit and Rhea, even though they are brothers and sisters, they are both different in every way. Let us learn about them, what they like to do, what they like to eat. So let's go to the Desai family and learn more about Rohit and Rhea. Rohit and Rhea Sports Rohit enjoys playing football and Rhea enjoys playing tennis. They are so different. He likes playing football and Rhea likes playing tennis. Their food habits. Rohit, he enjoys eating junk food. And Rhea enjoys eating healthy food. See, it's so different. Colors. Rohit likes the color blue. He has everything in blue. His football, his badminton racket, his uh, room is also blue. While Rhea likes the color pink. Her rackets are pink. Her paint brush is pink. Her room is also pink. So they are different. He likes the color blue and she likes the color pink. Their hobbies. Rohit. He enjoys painting. Andrea enjoys gardening. So you see children, they are so different. Their gender. Rohit is a boy. Andrea is a girl. So you see they are yet different. He is a boy and she is a girl. Today, children, we are going to learn about words that have totally different meaning. They are different in every way. Opposites are words that have a totally different meaning. Good is the opposite word of bad. This little boy is good and this little boy is bad. So the opposite of good is bad. High, low. This little boy is high up on the ladder and this boy is low. Look at this picture children. It is a seesaw. This man is sitting low and this little boy is high up. So the opposite of high is low. Black, white. Black and white. The zebra has black and white stripes. Children, black cannot be white. And white cannot be black. They are two different words, opposite words. Poor, rich. The opposite of poor is rich. This boy is poor. He has not much money. And this boy is rich. He has a lot of money. This picture also tells you that this man here, he is poor and these two people here are rich. Tall, short. This boy is tall. This girl is short. 
Now these two pictures also tell you the same thing. A giraffe is a tall animal and a pig is a short animal. So the opposite of tall is short. Fat, thin. Now children, you must make your own sentence looking at the picture. This boy is fat. This boy is thin. Now you can also use it for a book. But the word changes a little bit, children. This book is thin and this book is thick. We don't say fat, we say thick. Thick means it is bigger than the thin book. It is fatter than the thin book, but for a book, you say thin and thick. Even a rope, you can say a thin rope, a thick rope. Weak, strong. The opposite of weak is strong. This banyan tree has a strong stem. But this bean plant has a weak stem. Weak means you are not very strong. It is the opposite of strong. Kamzor. In Hindi you would say kamzor. But in the word strong means you have a lot of takat, you have a lot of strength or you are strong at something. Difficult, easy. This sum is difficult, this sum is easy. This is a easy drawing, an easy drawing. This is a difficult drawing. More, less. More and less. This basket has more apples and this basket has less apples. Now look at these pictures, children. This park has more children but this park has less children in it. More and less. Narrow, broad. The meaning of narrow means, children, this road is very narrow. It is thin. Only one car can pass. But you see this road, it's very broad. There are one, two, three, four, five lanes in it. So this is a narrow road. This is a broad road. This ribbon is the same. This is a wide ribbon. This is a narrow ribbon. You can use the word narrow with broad or you can say wide. The opposite of narrow is broad and also wide. Through and false. Children, you know through and false very well. Through means correct and false means wrong. Now look at this sum. 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. Is it true that 2 plus 2 is equal to 4? Yes, it is true. 4 plus 4 is equal to 16. Is it true that 4 plus 4 is equal to 16? No. So this is a true, a true answer. This is a false answer. Kind, unkind. This girl is kind. This boy is unkind. These two pictures also tell you the same meaning. This girl is being kind to her. She has fallen down, so she is helping her out. But this girl is unkind. She is pulling this little girl's hair, which is not a nice thing to do. So, kind and unkind. 
beautiful and ugly. This lady is beautiful. This witch is ugly. So the opposite of beautiful is ugly. Many and few. These are many apples. These are few apples. Many pencils and few pencils. Old and young. This lady is old. This girl is young. In this picture, this dog is older and this dog is younger. So, old and young. Children, let us do a few words. We have seen a lot of pictures of opposites. Now we will do with words. Foolish. What is the opposite of foolish? Wise. Foolish means you do silly things. And wise is somebody who does it correctly, well. Raw, raw in Hindi would be kacha. Ripe, raw and ripe. Raw mango, ripe mango. Now you can also use these with words children like foolish man, wise man. Raw mango, ripe mango. Heavy. What is the opposite of heavy? Light. Heavy vehicle, light vehicle. Or heavy bag, light bag. Sharp. Blunt. Sharp and blunt. Sharp means it is, uh, if you have a knife that cuts very well, you say it is sharp. And a blunt knife does not cut very well. So you say sharp knife, blunt knife. Loose. Tight. Loose dress, tight dress. Hard and soft. Hard pillow, soft pillow. Empty, full. Opposite of empty is full. Empty glass, full glass. Dry, wet. Dry and wet. Dry hair, wet hair. When you have a bath, and you uh, just come out, you have wet hair. But when after sometimes your hair dries, you say you have dry. My hair is dry. So dry hair, wet hair. Right, left. You can also use the word wrong with it. Right and wrong. You can also say right and left. Right hand, left hand. Smooth, rough, smooth road, rough road, smooth and rough, straight, crooked, straight road, crooked road, straight, crooked, shallow, deep. Shallow pool, deep pool. When you go to a swimming pool where the water is not too much, the, the ground level is little, you say shallow. And deep means where it is quite deep. The ground level there is right down. So that is deep. Shallow, deep. Children, I hope you have understood the topic. Thank you, children.